All right, guys. So I am back again with something kind of cool. Um, yeah. So anyway, I I have to admit that the seven thousand OC that I had the other day, uh, unfortunately, yeah, it uh, it didn't survive. It was not quite reboot stable. Not entirely sure what did it, but yeah, this um, this OC, this whole setup was not 100%. Um, it could have been a number of factors. Uh, to be honest, I don't exactly know why it wasn't reboot stable, but um, I didn't really give up. I kind of came back to it um, today. And uh, this was particularly easy. This was pretty easy, to be honest. Like, this kind of ran first time. Um, yeah, this this pretty much ran first time. So I came and tried um, 6933. And I applied the new rules that we kind of discussed on OCN. So basically, um, what a lot of the guards are doing now is TRCDRD plus TRTP for TRAS. I don't do that. I do that plus four. Um, reasons I have just because of... Um, a rule I used to follow with D4 and D5's um D5's like timings and like cycle um like number of cycles and stuff that it handles certain operations it's almost always doubled so I decided to do plus four not plus two like with D4 so plus four and that gives me this value now honestly I would say just raise it as high as you need because to be honest it doesn't really help performance much and honestly in more situations Having low T RAS actually breaks training more often than not, and it almost never like improves performance. To be honest with you, um, you know these two are like confirmed eight eight. Like this is pretty much the min for D five. I don't think the low eight actually does anything or even is correct. To be honest, um, TRC four eighty is the same per bank is three ninety. Same thing. I don't change that. It's pretty much um, that's pretty much fine for for Hynix eight I. Um, that wouldn't really fluctuate. T Refi is now 65535. Now there's actually a formula behind that. The formula is this. So the formula you would use is uh, 256 multiplied by uh, 1024. And then it's divided by... Wait, let me put that in brackets for you guys. Because it's going to be a division. Um, so, and that's divided by N. And N is either 1 two four or eight and there's a reason for that and that is um also in brackets you could say um because after all this is done you're gonna minus one right so so basically what you would do is you would go like um 245 uh oh sorry two, 245 what the hell 256 sorry i'm i'm sleep deprived um so you do that and then let's say you wanted max, right? So then you'd say n equals one, and then you would go minus one, and this um, this would equal. Um, you could probably guess where it's gonna go, but this is gonna equal this. So ten twenty four, um, and that is divided by n, which is one, and then minus one, and that gives you the max register entry. Um, for example, and then let's say you wanted um, let's say you wanted uh, divided by two, so you wanted slightly slightly um, looser go like this and then you can go divided by two and then minus one and it gives you this number and then you could even go like my personal choices um divided by four because it's just easier on uh on heat stability so i just go um like this um now i don't think any of you will actually need to do less than this i think the divided by four is pretty much the the go-to for everyone i think this is pretty much doable on everyone's com computers maybe if you had like a very heat unstable oh see well you could do eight you could probably do 16 even if you really wanted to like i, I bet you could do 16 um i mean if you really had to you had to, you could do like i mean well this is not correct this this would be 65 five three five but you could do um you could do divide up by four uh divide by eight and then that would give you um 32 7 uh, 6 7 so yeah but that's that explained um quickly and then uh, TRTP and TWR are actually a there's actually a table that you have online, um, but basically there's like set values. You um, I'm gonna give you guys the basic ones because I'm I'm gonna assume you're not gonna wanna read the table, but basic ones I would say you could go um, TRTP uh, twelve and then it's TWR uh, forty eight and you can go TRTP fifteen, um, TWR uh, 
6 now it's not actually it's not what you think it's not actually times 4 cuz you could have TRTP 14 um and then then you would have a uh, TWR um 54 if i'm not wrong but you could have a uh, TRTP 21 and that's TWR84. Uh, so sometimes it is times four, but not always. Um, and then you could have the, the one. Honestly, I would say um, stick to the more normal values. I don't really think you have to um, keep the other crazy ones in mind. I would say just do like these. Like, this is probably good, right? Like, I mean, if you need if you could do minimum, you could just do this. Like, which is most people can do this. Um, if you had to go here, you could go here if you really had to. And then if you had to really go desperate, you could do this one. But yeah, so... That's how that works. Um, there's, a ta there's a table online. I can link you guys um, a screenshot if I have to. It's not really a problem, but there's a um, a document that actually has the um, the correct values. Uh, T432, obviously, you know why. Um, TCK8 is actually the limit, apparently. I, I didn't know this, but apparently, um, 4 and 6 are actually not really doable. 8 is actually what you should be using. Um, TCWL, you could auto it. That doesn't really matter anymore. Um this and this actually rounds up to 16 apparently i didn't know this either but apparently yeah and uh this one i would say keep it 20 um 19 rounds up as well apparently and then 18 can actually lead to a regression um i know this is all like weird this is like whoa this is a lot of stuff i'm dropping now on you guys but um i don't know i sat to this one guy and yeah i think um probably keep these at 20 and then even if you had your rank keep these at 20 as well and then 16 8 is pretty much what you're gonna do that's pointless to adjust these to you leave auto why because actually it turns out that on some boards on different vendors boards the calculation for ddr5's um twtr values is actually different so it means if you go on a dock and set uh, your twtr values um the calculation will use to formulate the rrds is different now what that means is that's a problem why because it means that if you don't set the twtr value and you try and adjust tertiary it means you'd have to adjust on your personal like board sample. It means you'd have to adjust what the actual resultant value is. Um, I think Ace is using the correct formula, if I'm not wrong. I think EVJ's one is wrong. Um, but either way, basically, you ignore these timings and you just set the WTRs. WTRs, um, so TWRRD, new meta. And then TWTR, SNL. Um, basic rule, L equals S times 4. Wait. Man. So, you could have some pairings. So, you could have TWTR, uh, TWTR S, 4, uh, TWTR L, um, WTR L, um, 16. And then, you could have it be, um, so on, so forth. So, you could have it be, you know, um, 624... 832 i mean if you really had to you could go 10 like 10 40 like 12 48 whatever you get the point so but yeah um honestly i would say 624 would work pretty pretty fine for most people um you could do 416 this is gonna be very difficult i would say 624 is probably gonna be the go-to um that'll be like the you know the, that's what i'm using i'm using i'm using this one right I'm, i use this um so yeah and um then anything else to mention not really um these two i like i said i've done my own dual rank testing and i um i've been able to train this minus two to this and this is stable i think if you try 13 it's round up if you try 12 good luck i think 12 on these two is not doable um but i would say a pretty safe rule is this minus two for the dual rank and dual dim timing or different dim timing um so yeah if you have dual rank i would say 16s and then 14s on these and then 2020 matched and then for this one you could try 14 i can't train 14 um so i would say 16 is probably the realistic ma minimum and this is the automatic value i think it goes lower if you have like um it might be lower when you have m die and also maybe at like certain speeds it might train lower but actually mine trains at 16 i think i'm leaving at 16 because um yeah, you know, I, I don't think there's a point loading anymore. Keep in mind, guys, this timing at 16 is compared to this at 6850. This is, like, crazy. Like, this switch to the different rank or the different dim is, like, 
it's a massive improvement in like the the throughput. Like it's a massive improvement in latency in that like that chain of 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 um of uh you know commands. Like it's literally sixteen versus this. Now, if there was a theoretical WTR different rank or different dim timing, theoretically, like I'm, I don't think exists, but it, like hypothetically speaking, it would be incredibly low. So that the whole sequence of events that um that follows on from hitting a different rank, for example, here compared to this is like or this even, it's like it's much faster. Now, I don't think it makes up for dual rank, and 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 I don't think it makes dual rank like any like special source. I don't really believe that dual rank is your savior. I think that um you know clutching onto like you know clutching at straws hoping that like dual rank will save your performance is kind of like copium um that's some pretty elite deal of hope i think it's a lost cause i, I think you know i know juve said like the performance is really good and stuff it's like seven thousand is like beating eight thousand i don't know um i mean maybe he's right i have no idea i feel like that's a bit cope to be honest it's a bit it's a bit too cope for me like i don't know i don't, I don't buy it i feel like it's too easy like that that just seems way too easy um but yeah, so as you can see, this screenshot was my one Asmus run. Now, I'm not even surprised it passed because honestly, like 7,000 passed with like tighter timings at the same voltages at 1.55 VDD, VDDQ, and VDD2. Or, yeah. And um, yeah, same voltages passed 7,000. So I wasn't surprised it's passed. I mean, this, this is like guaranteed passed basically. Um, the issue was Y Cruncher for 7,000 actually. Um, so as you can see, I passed 43. Um, 64 ish second iterations so this was about i don't know how long this was like maybe 50 minutes whatever like 50 minutes or like what is it well it tells you so it'll be 2801 or two i guess you can say 02 because it's 0.9 so like where's my calculator again 2802 plus um 65 i'd say 65 that divided by 60 equals yeah 47 and a bit minutes I give it 47 minutes whatever it doesn't matter um same thing and then as you can see i i passed it again after a cold boot um i had load shedding after i passed that stress test um and then i went to sleep uh, because i stayed up all night i woke up in the afternoon and then came back to retest it um that was weird anyway um but yeah so it is now quarter to five finished this around like 10 minutes ago yeah, I, I have load shedding, so it's impossible that my computer could have been on. This was a cold boot. This is, like, definitely a cold boot. Um, if you don't believe it, then, I mean, I don't know. But, yeah, I'm, I'm just glad this is actually re reboot stable. Because 7,000, um, I never I never retested it, to be honest. I know I broke my golden rule. I just thought it would be stable. I honestly, had, I had hope, guys. Because I was like, 7,000 is so slow. Like, why would it be reboot unstable? I didn't appreciate the fact that, like, maybe it would be, like, um a case of IMC stress, but yeah, 7,000 wasn't reboot stable, so I was pretty bummed out, um, but yeah, this, um, cold booted, and then it just ran all six iterations, and this is, um, this is, uh, 3875 plus 64.5, about that much divided by 60, that is 65 in a bit minutes, but yeah, 65 minutes, all in all, I passed 65 plus 47, and keep in mind that's 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 plus add-on, so like that's about 113 minutes more or less of VST, um, and then you're yeah, like an hour and 20 of one asmus, whatever. It's not gonna error, but yeah. So, um, yeah, it's done finally. I have more than six eight. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I was not so happy with six eight. Six eight was kind of scuffed. It's I mean it's disappointing, right? I mean if I had seven eight with the dock, right, and then I was having problems getting seven eight with the hero. Um, VST and one Asmus stable, but only because of the BIOS, because of cursed 0813, people are still coping, uh, and 0902 and stuff, people are still coping online, thinking that, like, this doesn't have to be, like, dude, I'm gonna actually start a series where I explain some shit, because, like, it's getting annoying, I'm, I'm gonna actually make a video right after this and just record it, because, um, yeah, I'm gonna just, like, get it, get it going, so I can clear things up, some things up, but, um, but yeah, this is done, finished, and, uh, buried, and uh, unless I get an Apex, I'm done. I, there's no point trying 7 tiers, no point trying 7,000. Um, this is the best this board can do, dual rank. 6, 933. Uh, maybe C30 would work at 1.6 volts. Um, I don't think it's worth the voltage, to be honest. I don't really see a point. Um, but yeah, I think this is pretty much like happy days. Um, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um,
you know, like like I said, this is just like a, I mean, all my OCs are just like journeys with my subs and stuff, my viewers, um, just to like see what can be done and like you know, my uh, my troubles along the way, um, but yeah. So, and funny fact, this wasn't done with any ODTs or any like special training algorithms or like any uh, PLLs. This was just like bog standard. And honestly, I don't know if the timing rules being respected helped this. Because it very well may have, right? It very well may have. Because um, I was asking this person what exactly he thinks the benefit is of following JDEC rules and stuff. And he said he thinks potentially it could help, you know, like these errors that pop up every once in a while that are very weird. Like, you know, errors after, like, five hours type stuff. I think maybe he's right. Like, you know, a time misfires and, you know, it's like... If there's a, sequ a sequence to them, like, if there is a relationship, which there appears to be, like, then I would say respect the rules. Because, I mean, I don't see a reason why not to. Um, and, yeah, this is pretty much as tight as it goes, funny enough. For, for a dual rank kit, but not just that, like, in general. Because, guys, 8-8 eight, eight is min. 483-94 for a die is pretty much min. Um... You can do slightly less on some setups. So I would say 483.90 is min. Because, I mean, that's JDEX training as well, I think. If I'm not wrong, for ADI. But anyway. Um, T Refi at 6535.35. That's not min. That's pretty weak, to be honest. Um, guys on the water could do uh, 262.143 pretty easily. If they have, like, 25C, 24-7 uh, temps, then I'd say, yeah, you could do max T Refi pretty easily. Um, TWR48 is min. TRTP12 is min. This is min. Min. And this is match to tcl that doesn't really matter um primaries or whatever i mean like they're pretty low but not crazy low but they're pretty low um obviously you could go lower but i mean there's a pretty defined ceiling um 16 seems like a min as well i think that eight is only for d4 i know that the, the imc has a register for eight but i think maybe um d5 might be 16 to be honest i think d5s should be 16 i i don't know I, i'm just guessing but i think it should be um but yeah, this is pretty much, like, I mean, believe it or not, guys, a lot of the rules you've been breaking, like, I don't think there's a point. I, I don't even know if it helps or if it actually hurts. I think it may, might hurt things, to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just I'm just thinking maybe it might be best to follow the rules and see maybe if this helps with making setups more consistent in terms of re retrain stability. Like, it, it may honestly be that the retrain stability thing was a function of bad timings. It, it very well might be, to be honest. Eh? It's, it's, it may be. It's not impossible. Because I don't think I knew anyone that respected the, T, the TRTP TWR rules. And those timings, were, like with my time on the dock, those timings seemed like they had a big effect on like IMC stability and Y cruncher and like just general retrain stability. So I'm wondering if like the TRTP TWR rules actually not very, very important because... They seem to be some of the most tricky timings to, um, to you know, appease on D D5. So, um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I um, hope it was helpful. Like, I I'm hoping that maybe it gives you guys something to work with. But, uh, but yeah, to all those uh, that believe I can't pass hours of Y-Cruncher, well, there you go. This was um, 60 long or, or 60 short iterations. One minute long. You know, you don't really know why I do one minute. Because, um, okay, no, you should know why. Because... Every time the iteration switches um, and it load cycles, you risk um, this rail screwing you, which is good because it means that I don't have to sit through fucking half an hour of this shit just to error at half an hour. Like, if I can error in 15 minutes on the same iteration, like, that just saves way more time. I don't see a reason why we should be doing two minute long iterations when we know that changing iterations literally causes in, like it introduces instability like it introduces variability so I, I think that 60 seconds should be the standard and uh just if you want to do an hour it's fine there's nothing wrong with an hour like just set it you know set the set the time and then um it'll run just more iterations but you know same length of time so i mean i st i think this makes more sense but that's just me but uh but yeah so um yeah cheers guys i will see you very very soon hopefully